What is good YouTube? My name is CJ. This is CJ Knows Tech and you are watching Making YouTube. On my channel I like to talk about tech, sneakers, and anything creative but this series strictly is about making YouTube and helping you make great decisions and develop the best quality at making YouTube. Now one thing I want to talk about today is very, very, again I say very important. Now you need to take heed to everything I'm about to tell you. It can save you a lot of headache, pain, and turmoil, as well as it will save you your channel. Trust me, do not, I repeat, do not use no copyright music, YouTube channel music. Do not use it. My biggest advice to you is don't even do it. Yes, it says no copyright. Yes, it says free music to use for your YouTube channel. Do not believe it. Don't even go down that route. Like, I'm serious. Do not kid yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. Like, don't play yourself. Now, the reason why I say this and the reason why I fuss about this because a lot of people putting their songs and music on these channels are just people who are on the up and coming and they're trying to get their music out there and they're trying to get seen and get heard and eventually get a record deal. Now, mind you, some of these people might make it one day. They might get some kind of little small rinky dinky hole in the corner record deal or whatever. At the end of the day, if they do become legit with their music and they start to register their music with the RIAA, a member of like an ASCAP or a BMI and so forth, and they become legit. And then all of a sudden copyright is a play on that music that they offer and those labels or whatever wanna claim that song and they wanna claim the coin on all the spins on that song, you're in trouble and I'm dead serious. You're gonna get a copyright strike with no questions asked. Now, I recently had an instance happen with a video I made, it was a vlog. If you keep up with my channel, you know. I went to a sneaker event and I did a video I got some shots with my crane too, and I was looking for music for the background. I wanted something kind of hip and, you know, swaggy. So I grabbed one of these old, now this is a song I pulled a while ago. Now see, this is the key, mind you, cause you might get something that's recent today and then down the line, things change. So I grabbed this song. This was a song I grabbed a while ago uh, from a no copyright YouTube channel. Do not mess with them. I'm so serious. I'm, I'm trying to give you game right now. And I had this video clip of like it literally is just a song and all of the the motion and things I had from the shot on Vimeo I got a copyright strike this was like just yesterday and that video got taken down and now I have a strike on my account on Vimeo the first thing I immediately did was ran to my YouTube vlog where I have this clip inserted into with this song I took it down because I'm not risking a copyright strike on my YouTube channel no <laughs> it's not worth it so uh, when it comes to music, this is one of the toughest parts about YouTube because you need music with your video production because it increases the value of your production. It's a must. You have to do it. It, it helps like expand the vibe and feel of what you're filming. Now, where the issue comes in, you don't know anyone who makes music. You don't know anyone willing to give you music, the typical person. You don't know where to find music. And there's a copyright law out there in place. So your best option is to license music. Well, CJ, how do I license music? I'm gonna give you a A1 solution that I've chose. This is the route that I've went, and this is the route that I know and I love it. And it's a very popular route. And if you got onto this site and you browse some of these songs, you're gonna hear a lot of songs that are used by your favorite big YouTubers. And this is a must. Now, it's gonna take an investment. You gotta realize, if you're serious about this and you're really trying to grow and go to the next level, if you're not investing in yourself, you're wasting your time. So, it's not free. You cannot use music for free unless you have written consent from the artist or the music. Do not, don't even dabble in those no copyright YouTube channels. And if those channels feel some kind of way about me making this video, I'm spitting raw game because they're not getting contracts from these people or whatever. Anyways, at the end of the day, don't do it. A site that I use, a site that a ton of YouTubers that you love use is Epidemic Sound, epidemicsound.com. And they have a YouTube section on there. Now this is a site that licenses music to you. They allow you to use it on your YouTube channel. You register your YouTube channel, you're good. No copyright strikes, no flagging, no banners, none of that good stuff. And even if that word mistakenly happened, uh, Epidemic Sound has a process and it will clear that up for you. Do not worry. How it works is you have YouTube creators, you get this license and any video you make while you're covered and you're paying and you put that song under, it's covered for, 
for the rest of the time being. So even if you stopped your subscription with Epidemic Sound, any videos made in that time, uploaded in that time that you were a paying customer are fine. They're legit and straight. Shout out to Epidemic Sound for keeping it 100 in that area. Now, I know a little bit about music. I used to be in, not really in the music industry, but I used to, you know, do sound engineering and production and all that good stuff. I've done it all, artistry and everything. I'm not in that world too much anymore. I just mentor. So Epidemic Sound has a YouTube creators and it depending on how many views, there's a different price. There's different price brackets, beginning price bracket, which is $14.99 a month. Now I know, whoa, 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 whoa. $15 a month, whoa. Now look, it's worth it. Because if, say if your channel was growing and you were getting, you were starting to see the success you wanted and then you end up getting copyright strikes and your channel gets deleted and removed and all that hard work that you put fourth effort on is gone, you will really regret not paying that $14.99 or 15 bucks a month. Now, there's a way for you to get a discount on that, which I'm gonna point in, and a part of it has to do with using TubeBuddy. I do have a TubeBuddy link, tubebuddy.com slash cjknowstech, and TubeBuddy is something I stand behind, but look at this, here is the A1 part with the TubeBuddy thing. You get a discount because they're partners with Epidemic Sound if you're using TubeBuddy. You obviously have to have the paid subscription thing but here's the kicker at some point TubeBuddy kicked out this promotion and I caught it and I bought a certain tier on their price thing for a lifetime like at a killer price that's already paid for so I don't even have to worry about that and I get a discount on Epidemic Sound so now going forward my monthly payments on Epidemic Sound are highly decreased that's a hack that's a way around TubeBuddy.com slash CJ Knows Tech if you decide to go that route but one thing I want to do is I want us to get into the computer screen and let me show you Epidemic Sound, show you the layout, show you how it works and how you can pick music from off there. So uh, let's go, come on. Okay, as you saw right there in the computer, Epidemic Sound has a pretty dope layout. They got the music player that stays at the bottom and you can scan it. There's a ton of different kinds of music. I mean, the only thing is there's so much music that you have to dig and you can spend some time digging. What I do is I set up folders. I find a bunch that I like. I put them in there. I got favorite songs. So that way I have my own little mini library already downloaded and I could go through there and find songs. And I go in there recently. I look at latest tracks. I'll flip through there. It, it, it takes time. Look, this is a, this is not, this is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. This isn't a 50 yard dash. This is a marathon. Building your channel, building your audience, building your platform takes time, effort, and dedication. If you don't have that, then you're not fit to be making a YouTube channel. <laughs> and I'm just keeping it 100. Like you gotta be down for the get down. So please do not use these no copyright YouTube channels, do not use the songs off of there. They might tell you, hey, all you have to do is put an attribution. No, don't fall for it. I'm telling you, the music game is totally different. Once they ink an agreement with these big companies and corporations, they could care less about any of that. Free is the last thing they're trying to do. Trust me, they're gonna come and they're gonna come for you and they're gonna copyright strike you and you're gonna be it out of luck and it's not worth it do what i am telling you go on epidemicsound.com there's probably other sites that are comparable to do the same thing i just happen to have came across epidemic sound i love their selection it's very wide array from everything from hip-hop pop funk country anything you know what i mean they got it and they also have these albums on there uh categorized for youtube creators and certain vibes and, mo and modes and so forth so just get on there Dig it out, check it out. 
it's highly worth it. I'm not getting a dime or anything. Epidemic Sound doesn't know me anything other than a channel that pays to use their services. They don't know me as an influencer that's pushing this. I'm doing this because I'm trying to help you out and making YouTube and save you the headache of copyright strikes. I just got one on my Vimeo account. I'm so glad it wasn't my YouTube account. Right now, I'm just begging you to do the things that you need to do to cover y'all. Like, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm not playing. Like, when it comes to the music industry and copyright strikes and all that, it's all serious. Think about if you had that video monetized, they're gonna take all of that money back. Like, it's, it's like, come on, why go through that? Learn the game, play the game smart. Epidemicsound.com, go and do that. Tubebuddy.com slash CJ Knows Tech. Putting my, all my effort and my time into building this channel. Anything I get out of this channel goes right back into the channel. And I'm not getting enough to recoup what I'm putting in at the moment. And I know one day I will eventually break even. And then one day there may be a, there will be a profit and so forth. But I got to put in that work and that grind for that. And don't hate your YouTubers for trying to get out here and promote and support themselves at doing this you know what I mean support your favorite youtuber and if I'm one of them smash that like button smash that sub button <laughs> I'm on a journey of 10,000 subs this year I want to surpass that 15 20,000 50,000 or even a hundred I will take it let's go my name is CJ this is CJ knows tech I have just schooled you on making YouTube and what to do about not using no copyright music and how to get copyrighted music but license it and do it the legal way and be covered. Cover your That's it. Ah, okay. I just want to tell you real quick about TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy.com slash CJ Knows Tech. Now, you know, if you're on the road of making a YouTube channel, or if you're in, if you have a YouTube channel, if you don't know about TubeBuddy, which I'm pretty sure you do, but if you don't have it and it's not in your extensions, look, it's free to get in the beginning. Of course, they have uh, paid options and so forth, and you can graduate to that, but I guarantee you, I recommend get the free version and see what you're missing out of. This is like an A1 tool. People do YouTube and they don't even think about the back end, about the keywords and searching and how to rank. You have to rank in the search in order to get seen. You gotta have a butter smooth thumbnail and all that other good stuff too, which I'm gonna show you how to do in this making YouTube series, but I highly recommend TubeBuddy.com slash CJ News Tech. Yes, it helps me. It helps you too. And at the end of the day, I wouldn't push anything I don't believe in, I don't use. Now, I am a paid user. I don't have a free subscription. I, I pay for my TubeBuddy and I use my TubeBuddy and I love my TubeBuddy. That's why I want you to get TubeBuddy. That's it. I'm sorry. Rant. Bye.